Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you can see, I'm in my messy ass garage. We're working on the big block Chevy. Um, I finally got the starter out. You can see it laying on the floor right there. Got the new one back in. Um, I had to remove the front drive line, but even that was difficult on this thing. I don't know if the front end is sagging or what, but the front drive shaft was completely collapsed. So I couldn't get it to move. So I ended up having to put a jack on the front leaf spring mount, jack the truck up so, so that the front tire would hang. And that gave me enough separation to where I can get that drive line out. And then I could move, slide the starter out and move the header out of the way. But headers are back on. Um, new steel exhaust manifold gaskets, header gaskets, all new, new bolts on most of it. And we still still have a little bit of valve train noise. So I'm pretty sure there's a lifter issue somewhere or something that's out of adjustment. <clears throat> I just fired it up. It starts so much better with that new, new starter in it. Here, we can start it up for you. Make sure I'm in neutral, which I'm not. Ready? This side's fairly quiet. I don't know if you can hear it, but this side's tapping. Remember, this truck sat a long time, so I don't know if it's got a collapsed lifter or or what, or an out of adjustment valve. So I don't know what's going on with that. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I had to pull the steering wheel off. Look at this. Got it hanging on the wall over here. It's just completely cracked and broken and coming apart. I had one from a uh, 90s Chevy pickup I threw on there. It's just temporary, but that's on there. Got new seat cover for it over at my father-in-law's. We've got the new door handles done and window cranks. So I haven't really worked on it in a couple weeks and just it's starting to get to be winter time and I was being kind of lazy and didn't want to do it. So I got after it for a bit today. We're done for today. Um, I'll get back out here tomorrow and maybe pull a valve cover off and see on that side and see what's going on with that. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the shop. I got some updates for you. I haven't I've been doing a lot of work behind the scenes. I haven't done a whole lot of filming. Just. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way. Today's Black Friday, so I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. So on the pickup, we've got the header gaskets are changed on both sides. New starter is in. I just pulled the man or the valve cover and checked rockers. Found one really loose rocker. Um, air cleaners on. Carburetors fixed. Uh, what else? I've ordered. I ordered some, I found some new cab light covers off of Amazon or eBay. <coughs> Excuse me. So those are ordered. They should be here. I did swap all the cab light bulbs to LEDs all the way across and they work. It's a switch. So those will be nice. Um, we pulled the seat, put the new seat cover on that we bought for it. Um, I don't like the way it fits, but we're kind of letting it work itself in. And then when I had the seat pulled, I did pull the sending unit out and replace the fuel sending unit. So now the gas gauge works. I do have some pedal pads that were bought for it a long time ago that I need to get installed. So we'll get those done. Still got to figure out what to do with the steering wheel. This one's only temporary because the other one's bad. But I think if we get the oil changed and just check all the diffs and fluids once those cab covers come or cab light covers come in, this thing can go back in the garage. And like I said, it is Black Friday. So as you can see outside, we do not have any snow or anything yet. Um, 
So yeah, I might be able to go get my Corvette and bring it back and actually store it here because I do want to pull the injectors on it and either change the injectors or get them cleaned really good. Because I think that's what's causing the miss when it's cold is injectors are plugged. But this is coming along pretty good. Um, my wife is out Black Friday shopping, so she's gonna pick me up some oil. I do have an oil filter right here for it. Oh, and I did, I did change the water temp sender, sensor. So we'll see if we get that gauge going. But So when my wife gets back with oil and stuff, I will fire this thing up, see how bad the tick is, and then uh, get the oil changed, get some fresh oil in it, and then it should be good to go to sit outside once those cab light covers come in. So uh, all is good. It is running, driving, usable. Starts so much better with the new starter in it. But when we get back for the oil change, I'll bring you along and we'll fire it up and let it run. I'll have to open the garage doors and everything, but it's all good. Other than that, that's about all we're going to do with it, I think. Just finish cleaning the interior and stuff and, and go from there. Everything else can wait till he's ready to do stuff. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. All right, we are back. It's now Sunday morning. Um, got the oil change done. Uh, what did we do? Pull, like I said, I pulled valve covers, checked the rockers, found one loose one, kind of adjusted it down. Still has a real bad tick. I still need to go through, warm it all the way up, tighten the headers down and make sure that's all good and sealed. But other than that, until those cab covers come, cab light covers come in, I think I'm pretty much done. The tick hasn't gone away. It hasn't gotten any quieter. So I think we have a collapsed lifter. So if I'm in this point now, it's going to go outside once I get everything else done and let my father-in-law figure out what he wants to do with it. He may just run it. He may want to put a bigger cam in it. I don't know. So we'll leave it for now. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you later.